What's good, YTBC? What's good, fight fans, boxing heads around the world? B Marsh with another boxing video. So it looks like December 31st, it is, it's been announced. Jezra Corrales, the current WBA super featherweight champion, that's 130 pounds, will be defending his title in his first defense after against the man that he snatched the title from in his home in his backyard. And that's, um, that's uh, what's his name? Ushiyama. Takashi Ushiyama. You check it? Now, Takashi Ushiyama, man, this man held that WB, WBA 130-pound title for years, man. He was the longest current ch um, champion. He held the title for at least five and a half years, almost pushing six, you know what I'm saying? Um, a title, I believe, he got from Juan Carlos Salgado, you know what I mean? Um, in 2010, you check it? Well, the man got dethroned um, sometime in April in the spring by this man you see on the left of your screen, and that's Jezreel Corrales out of Panama, you know what I'm saying? The man came in, he came to Panama, did his, I'm sorry, came into Japan, uh, um, relatively unknown, you know what I'm saying? He was the interim champion at the WBA, but like I said, relatively unknown, hadn't really fought anybody. He came out here, he was in favor to win this fight, but man, he did serious damage to the man Takashi Ushiyama in um, about three rounds, you know what I mean? If I'm finally mistaken, I believe he dropped him at least three times, you know what I'm saying? The first one was that crucial left hand, crucial left hook. You check it, something mean that put this man on the canvas, you know what I'm saying? Now, the man Takashi Ushiyama is a good fighter. You know the guy has only one loss in his career, and that's from the man um, Jezreel Corrales, you know what I'm saying? And um, this fight will be held on December 31st out there in Japan on New Year's Eve. And if you're more than likely watching it here in the States, it'll, be, it'll probably be um, New Year's Day, you know what I'm saying? You know, because um, Japan is many hours ahead of, of um, us on at least here on the east coast eastern standard time you know what i mean by the time we waking up man they probably going to sleep you check it by the time they having they they having lunch you check it by the time they having lunch man we still we still in the day the, the day before you know what i'm saying we still in the day before probably just um probably about to go to sleep you check it so you know that fight is something i'm really anticipating man and you know you know the wba did mention that they're trying to get rid of these interim and um regular champions you know but um i don't know how soon they're gonna be able to make this happen man because you know the wba regular champion is uh jason sosa he came off of beating um the man uh what's his name and it was in china too he beat uh javier fortuna in china you know what i'm saying now um, that was for the regular title, you know, a fight Jason Sosa came back from behind and he came back, came out to knock the man, uh, 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 Javier Fortuna out, you check it, so the winner of that fight was supposed to be facing Jezreel Corrales, you know what I'm saying, then the, um, of course we know Jason Sosa won that fight, then the, the, um, the WBA, uh, tried to mandate that um, they tried to make a fight between Javante Davis and Jason Sosa, you know what I'm saying? But I highly doubt that that fight's going to happen, you know what I mean? I don't know if the man Tank is ready, the man Javante Davis out of Baltimore, you know? So it looks like the man... Um Jason Sosa has been mandated, mandated, mandated to fight somebody else, okay, I, I can't even remember who at this given time, you know what I mean, but um, looks like um, Jezra Corrales will be getting his, a rematch versus Ushiyama, you know what I'm saying, and hopefully the winner of this fight, Ushiyama and Corrales, the rematch, gets to fight Jason Sosa and, and whoever wins that particular fight, you know what I mean. Between Jason Sosa and um, the opponent he's supposed to fight, you check it. You know the WBA has said they're trying to make these things. I'm trying to eliminate these titles. And um, the, the man Naota TV. Matter of fact, check out Naota channel, man. Matter of fact, this particular vid I'm watching right here. That's uh, when EJ Boxing Live and Naota they did some English commentary over the Japanese commentary. You know what I mean? And they do that pretty often on these fights coming out of Asia. And that's a good looks, man. They're the only ones on the YTBC doing it. So big to them you know what i mean but nelta was telling me that the wba is basically working their way up from the bottom down from the strawweight divisions on the way up you know what i mean recently we had shinsuke yamanaka fight versus um uh what's his name anselmo moreno you know and um 
whoever won that fight would be the WBA super champion at Bantamweight, you know what I mean? And also the lineal champion. So they got rid of all them interims. And also Luis Conception and the man Kono, you know? They got, got rid of the interim, interim and regular tags. And whoever won that fight would be the super champion. So I guess they're working their way up. So if that's the case, then the next division should be 122. That's Moises Flores versus Guillermo Rigondeaux. Moises Flores, if I'm not mistaken, I think he's the interim champ or might be regular. One of those titles that don't count in my opinion. But the man, uh, uh, Guillermo Rigondeaux, is the super champ. So uh, whoever wins that fight will remain the super champ. And I believe it'll be Guillermo Rigondeaux. But we shall see. We shall see. Hopefully they put that fight on the undercard of Kovalev versus Ward. You know what I mean? Rock Nation, show my boy Guillermo Rigondeaux some love, man. Put him on the pay-per-view. All right? So, man, this is this should be a good fight on, on New Year's Day, man, on on, Dece on New Year's Eve. I'll definitely check it out. Uh, let me know who you guys think is going to win this rematch, man. The man, Yushiyama, is a devastating puncher. But Jezreel Corrales came in there and basically styled on him, man. A southpaw who was switching stances on the man, switching stances at will and just basically caught him with that crucial left hand man uh, there it goes right there there it goes right there and that's all she wrote baby boy that's all she wrote this man was not the same after that he got rocked he got caught what he got caught um basically dry in the beginning of the fight wasn't warmed up and Jezreel Corrales came in there and did the unthinkable and upset the man Jez um Takashi Ushiyama let me know who you think's gonna win in the rematch be Marsh Boxing if you like the content please hit that thumbs up and if you're new to the channel Please subscribe and share the video with your peers. Be Marsh Boxing. Thanks for listening. Peace.